Hey guys, are you having to manually run commands or scripts on your Raspberry Pi during certain days or times? More importantly, are you wasting time because you're having to do this over and over? Stop what you're doing and start using CronTab. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule various types of cron jobs based on things like days of the week, days of the month, or even every five hours. Let's start by running sudo crontab e to edit the super user's crontab. And if this is your first time running this command, your Pi is going to ask you which type of text editor you want to use. I recommend just sticking with nano as the default since it's pretty easy to pick up. Each cron job that you add here needs to be on a new line at the bottom of the file. For our first example, we're going to ask our Raspberry Pi to record the device temperature every hour of the day. And I'll break down the syntax so you can easily learn how this works. We'll put down zero for the first component because this indicates how many minutes it should kick off. After that, we'll separate each component using a space. The second one indicates hours of the day. And we're using an asterisk to say every hour. The next three components are day of the month, month of the year, and then the day of the week and we're using an asterisk for every component except minutes. That's because we're saying kick off this cron job every hour, every day of the month of the year. Since the kickoff conditions are now set, we'll start writing the command to record our device temperature. We'll start with echo because that means to print the output of the command. And after that, we'll wrap date inside dollar sign parentheses because we're capturing the current date and time. And the arrow is for us to separate the timestamp and temperature. So that's purely cosmetic. And right after that, we're wrapping a VC gen command to capture the Raspberry Pi's temperature. And finally, we'll end the command with two greater than symbols followed by the path of a text file. That means we need to write the results of the command to a new line inside a text file. So again, this cron job is going to be running every hour of the day. And for the next example, I need my Raspberry Pi to run a Python script to check the weather every day. So we'll start with a zero space zero to indicate that this should be run at 12 a.m. The rest of the components need to be an asterisk because it needs to be run daily every month. The next part is telling the Raspberry Pi to kick off a Python script. And you can see that I start by referencing the exact Python version along with its full path. Then we're pointing it to where our Python script is located. So this one was pretty simple. And now we have a Python script running every day at 12 a.m. For my next example, I need to run a shell script to back up a MySQL database every week. And we'll start again with zeros for our minutes and hour because we're sticking with 12 a.m. again. The rest are asterisks except the day of the week. In this case, zero means Sunday. So if you wanted to do this on a Saturday, this would be a six. And also notice that unlike the Python script above, the shell script is taking in one parameter. And you can pass in as many parameters as you wish as long as they're on the same line. But what if you wanted to change this weekly cron job to a monthly one? In that case, we'll change the month component to the first day of the month. And then we'll make the day of the week an asterisk. So now you have a cron job running once a month instead. Let's try another one that runs a lot more frequently. So for example, I have a shell script that does git pulls to keep my code repositories up to date. And I want this to run every 30 minutes. So that means we need to write asterisk slash 30. And the slash is what's doing the magic to tell this is an interval every 30 minutes. All other components just need to be an asterisk because we're not dealing with hours, days, or months. Next, I need a Java file run for sending an email report only on weekdays at 9 a.m. So first, we'll write zero for the minutes and nine for the hour. Keep in mind that CronTab uses the 24 hour format. So this is definitely telling it 9 a.m. But if you're wanting to run this at 9 p.m. instead, you'd need to use 21. 
but moving on, we'll write asterisks for day of the month and month components because we don't care about those. However, we'll write 1-5 here to tell it that we need it to run Mondays through Fridays. The dash is nice in case you wanted to show a range of minutes, hours, or days in this case. But instead of ranges, what if you needed specific days? So for example, if you wanted to run the script on weekends instead of weekdays, you can go with 6, 0, where the 6 is a Saturday and the 0 is a Sunday. Okay, so we've went over plenty of examples and scenarios of different times and days to run cron jobs. So if you're done adding changes in cron tab, you need to make sure that you have a new line after the last cron job. Because if this new line is missing, cron is pretty much going to consider this cron tab broken and won't do anything. So to save, just hit control X followed by Y and then enter. And that's pretty much it. So by understanding how cron jobs work on your Raspberry Pi, you can automate your entire workflows. So whether you want to turn off your home lights automatically at night on your Raspberry Pi or just want to back up your data every day, CronTab is the ultimate scheduling solution for your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching and for more on CronTab or the Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.